People in the de-occupied territories are returning to normal life. In liberated Kherson, 139 base stations of mobile operators have already been restored, and 16 public Wi-Fi access points have been launched, and local residents are being provided with heaters. A total of 1,046 electric heaters were brought to the Boroslav territorial community. They have already started distributing them free of charge to residents of the community whose homes do not have stove heating. Boroslav also received 100 gas heaters from the Strengthening Public Trust Project, funded by the United States Agency for International Development, USAID. 20 heaters were donated to public utility organizations and another 80 were given to the community. Yaroslav Yanushevich, head of the Kherson Regional Military Administration, on Telegram. In the de-occupied territories, Ukrainian citizens receive all social payments. There, according to the Ministry of Reintegration, pensions for January have already been paid, and almost 73,000 more people in the Donetsk, Kharkiv, Kherson and Luhansk regions have already received financial assistance from the Ukrainian Red Cross Society. In addition, with the financial support of the International Organization for Migration as of Yesterday, cash assistance in the amount of 2,200 hryvnias was paid to more than 25,000 people living in the liberated territories of the Kharkiv, Kherson and Donetsk regions, from the report of the Ministry of Reintegration of the Temporarily Occupied Territories of Ukraine. For those who decided to move to safer regions, the state not only provides free evacuation assistance with accommodation, but also financial support. Immediately after their arrival, right at the station, people can get money – 2,000 hryvnas for each adult and 3,000 for children and people with disabilities. During the last two months, 47,500,000 hryvnas were allocated from the state budget for these payments. Now more Ukrainians will have access to necessary medicines. Ukraine has expanded the list of drugs, the cost of which will be covered from the state budget. Now there will be more drugs that healthcare institutions will be able to buy from the state and local budgets, which means more patients will be able to get them for free. Viktor Ryashko, Minister of Healthcare of Ukraine, from the message on the official website of the Ministry of Health of Ukraine. The government also increased the amount of compensation for child care under the social program Municipal Babysitter from 2,270 to 6,700 hryvnas. Compensation for the municipal babysitter service for a child under three years of age is provided when caring for a child with a disability or when one of the parents or guardians is a person with a group first or group second disability, from the message on the official website of the Ministry of Social Policy of Ukraine. The Cabinet of Ministers also clarified the categories of servicemen terminated from military service, who have the right to be provided with housing and compensation. Reported by Roman Smoller, Vlada Turkan, UATV News.